Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today for a special, special occasion. We're here to witness the joining in holy matrimony of Abby and Jay. Today starts a new chapter in their life. Even when I was talking to Jay a minute ago, this journey started like 10 years ago. That God knew the moment that y'all met started something. It was the idea that the story began 10 years ago, but ironically, the story changes today. <clears throat> Jay, I can't believe the day is here that I get to become your wife. I'm so proud to finally be Mrs. Schweiger. The past two years with you have been full of joy, laughs, happy tears, love, and lots of accomplishments. You make me so proud every day. You put all your work and all, and it always pays off, and that's why you will be the best husband and dad one day. You are the calm to my constant worrying. You are the level head to all my irritation, irrational decisions. You have always been my safe place. I promise to always keep God at the center of our relationship, and with that alone, I know we'll be great. I truly believe that He put me through all of my trials and heartaches to bring me to you. You challenge me in all of my weakness. You bring me out of the best in me. Bring out the best in me. Here's to forever. I'll see you at the altar. Love, soon to be Mrs. Schweiger. I can't believe this day is finally here. We have done so much in these two short years we've been together. I can't wait to see what God has in store for the rest of our lives. November 23rd, 2018. Do you know what that date is for? That is the first time you came to my house <laughs> to see either Rook or me. I still don't know. I knew once I saw you get out of the car, it wasn't just going to be a one-time dog meet. I did not know what I was staring, that I was staring at my wife, but I did, did not take me long to figure that out. My promise to you, Abby, is to be your rock. I promise to be there for you. I promise to keep you and our family safe no matter the consequences. I promise to always love you. I promise to always hold you tight. I promise to provide for you and our family. I promise to keep striving to make our life even more perfect than it already is. Anytime you need a moment to vent or a shoulder to cry on, I'm right here and I will always be. I found the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with and the one I want to help raise our children. The one to keep me in line, the one to love me unconditionally, the one to call me when I get flustered, and the one I get to call mine. Here's to a lifelong adventure with you as my wife. I love you, Abigail Aaron Schweiger. This, today, again, is a ceremony of love. And I use that term kind of carefully because we can talk about love in all kinds of ways. We can love chocolate, we can love a football team, we can love pizza. And we've done disservice to this word that what you're doing today is the highest level of love. It should be a different word set up on a pedestal that this love is not like other love. Love is patient. So be patient with each other, even when it's difficult. It says love is, is kind. Let things pass. Love does not envy, it's not jealous. It says love does not dishonor others. Love is not boastful, love is not proud, love is not self-seeking. Love is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. And if you could hear one phrase, my favorite part in this whole chapter, it says this. It says, love always protects. So protect each other above all else. So we're going to use these symbols as gifts. And I will let you hold this. And I will have you hold this. And we're going to show these promises by the giving of rings. So are you ready to make some promises? Mm -hmm. He's ready. <laughs> so Jay, I'm going to ask you a question. And would you do me a favor and repeat after me? Okay. I, Jay, take you Abby. I'm ready to take you out. To be my beloved wife. To be my beloved wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. For better and for worse. For better and for worse. For richer and for poorer. For richer and for poorer. Sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. 
to love and to protect from this day forward. Would you put the ring on her finger, please? Now, are you ready? Okay. Abby, please repeat after me. I, Abby, take you, Jay. To be my beloved husband. To have and to hold. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. And I have to ask you one more question, and it's important. Abby, do you take Jay to be your beloved husband? I do. Jay, do you take Abby to be your beloved wife? I do. With that being said, in front of all your friends and family that have come here today, I get to be honored and blessed to pronounce you as husband and wife. May you be the example others are looking for. May you be the example that God says, these are my children. May you be the example that your children will grow in a beautiful light. I have the power invested in me by the state of Texas and in the presence of God and your family to pronounce you husband and wife, sir. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> gentlemen this is Texas's newest family so cheer them on I present you Mr. and Mrs. Jay and Abby Schweiger you may take your walk Jay has been dreaming about this day ever since he was a little girl I've gotten to grow up next to Jay and I have seen him become the most responsible and honorable and trustworthy man that I know. Everything he does is out of the goodness of his heart. Just this week, me and my wife, we lost power and uh, we had to stay with uh, Jay and Abby while our power was out. And I'm extremely proud of him and his choices, including the, including the choice of who he choose, chose to spend his life with. Over the last year, Abby has already become part of the family, and I appreciate her being good to my brother, who deserves it. And I'm lucky to have a brother who that I can also call a friend. And I'm so happy to watch our family grow, and I know you guys will thrive in life and be alongside a big family that loves you. And uh, I hope that you give my daughter some cousins to play with. <laughs> So that's all I got. I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Jordan, Abby's matron of honor. Abigail and I have known each other since the seventh grade, so she has stuck with me forever. Sorry, Jay. From borrowing your mom's car at 13, because yes, donuts are that important, to, to getting busted at parties in high school, to flooding your car because we needed margaritas, RIP Camille, to graduating nursing school, to now both of us sitting next to each other on our wedding days. Abby has been there for me really through everything. She is genuine, trustworthy, funny at times, a complete asshole, and can hold a grudge like no other. But I wouldn't trade her for the world. With that being said, if you were device for UJ, don't ever make her mad and all will be well. Abby, I'll always be there to hold your hair back and start your bath. <laughs> and I'll be the first one there with yellow flowers when life doesn't go as planned. I love you and I'm so thankful God brought you Jay. He is driven, faithful, and level-headed. He makes you a better person. I've never seen someone make Abby so happy. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Schweiger. <laughs>